Hello, welcome again on this web application penetration testing series. My name is Sumit Jain and today I'm going to discuss how to do web crawling using Katana. So Katana is a fast web crawler written in Go. It will help you to find many URLs, JS files, files with other extensions and many more. Some of the key features are it will support standard and headless mode support. It will support JavaScript crawling, customizable automatic form filling, scope control, field control, customizable output, standard input, standard input in URL and list, standard output, find and JSON files. So first thing is now first we have to install Katana in our Linux distribution. I'm using Kali Linux. You can use other distribution as well. Installation is very simple. You can copy this command and run it in your terminal. After the installation, using help command, you can check whether it is installed or not. So I'm going to show you how to install this and uh, use Katana. So I'm installed Katana already and uh, I'm checking if my Katana is installed or not. It will install perfectly. You can use install the command I displayed before. So Katana has how to use Katana. So if we want to crawl a single URL, a single domain, we have to type Katana hyphen U. U is for URL. Then you have to give a single domain like this. I'm giving here tesla.com and hit enter. It will crawl all the different, different URLs. It will find on the internet on Webex URLs and show you the result. I'm stopping the command and going to show you the other command. If you want to, if you want to give two URLs, then we have to put comma and other URL. I'm put here google.com and hit enter. It will now show you the google.com URLs and the tesla.com URLs. In the Katana repository, you can find on GitHub, there are many different, different commands you can use. Like if we want to give many domains, then we have to create a file. I'm creating a file and giving many domains in it. Like tesla.com google.com facebook.com saving the file file is saved now katana has a feature to list this file using the flag list and then file name it will now crawl all the different URLs of the given, given domain we give in our file. If we want to call this file via cat, we have to use this pipe and then katana. It will also work like this. The other functions of this tool is we can give a standard input as well like echo our domain name i'm giving here tesla and then our pattern So the other commands are very useful. Like it will, it has crawling mode. It has two crawling mode. One is standard and other one is headless. Standard mode with no browser overhead and headless mode with browser overhead. The commands are given below. It, has, it also has scope control. For scope control, we use hyphen fs like this. If we, if I want to run a single domain with a scope control, 
I use hyphen FS. FS refers to scope control, field scope. It has three field scope as well. First is RDN. Uh, it will crawl only root domain and only subdomain. Second one is FQDN. It will crawl the given subdomain and the other one is DN. DN means it will only crawl the uh, domain name keyword. The domain you give, it only crawl, it, it will only crawl the given domain. So I'm going, I'm here going to use DN. So it will now crawl only tesla.com. The other functionalities of this tool is it has crawl scope. Like if you want to uh, find a single page or single URL, single functions as well, then we use hyphen CS like this hyphen CS. And then the word keyword you put, like I'm putting here login, it will crawl only login page. If you find any login, then it will show you here. So Katana has many functions like crawler configuration. If you want to, if you want to crawl our target in depth, we use hyphen D. D is for depth and given the value like five, it will crawl depth. It will call it will crawl the depth files. If we want to crawl JS files, then we have to put a flag like JC. By default, this function is disabled. So if we want to crawl JS files, we have to put hyphen JC. Now it will crawl only JS files. If we want to uh, give crawl duration, then we use a flag called CT and the time. So Katana has many options to crawl a website with depth mode, with functions mode, with scope control, field scope, JS crawl, known files, automatic form fields, filters. It has also some filters. For filters, we use hyphen F. Hyphen F and then the field name. Here is the field name you will find here. URL. URL means only find URL endpoints, QURL, URL including query parameter, QPath, path including query parameter, URL path for path, FQDN, fully qualified domain name, RDN, root domain name, and then RURL with root URL, U file URL with file, file, file name in URL, key parameter keys in URL, value parameter values in URL, KV keys values in URL, DIR URL directory name, and UDR URL with directory. Like if, you, if I want to crawl, if I want to crawl only uh, URL including query parameter, then I use QURL. It will display the results with query in it. So Katana is very useful if you are doing uh, penetration testing for your domain. It will help you to find many paths, many files, JS files, uh, parameters inside a JS files, login panels, query parameters. So it will help you to, a lot to recon, to create a mind map how, on how to attack a URL. So I definitely recommend this. So guys, this I'm going to wrap up this here. In the next video, I'm going to talk about the other crawlers like Wayback URLs and Gov.